Hi everyone, Starsha here, and it's six years old, so I'm six, right? And we're going to do a little review here, so my mom is going to be asking me some questions, and I'm going to be answering here, because um, it's like next week is literally my exam. So I got to be quick over here learning. So let's get started. Okay, hi Sasha. Um, hi mom. Um, so your teacher must have taught you this. What are the three states of matter? The three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Oh, can they actually change from one state to another state? Yeah. Okay. Uh, when solid changes to liquid, what process is that called? It's called... Is that freezing or melting or evaporation? Melting. Melting, amazing. Now... I'd like to ask you my next one, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, can you give me an example of a solid? Yeah, sure. Example of a solid is something that's hard, heavy, and some solids are not really that heavy. They're very fluffy. This is also solid. Oh. And, and it's so soft and light. But you know that? This is actually a solid. Okay, thank you. Now, can you give me an example of a gas? Sure. Gas is oxygen, air, we breathe. Thank you. Like How, O2. O2, yeah, that's oxygen. How about an example of a liquid? A liquid, water. Like what I have over here. Ah. Liquids. They're, they don't really have a shape of their own. So if you put it in like a cup like this, the liquid takes the shape of the cup. If you put it on the table, it will take the shape, shape of, of that table. <laughs> nice. Okay. So let me tell you about the three states. They're very different and also some of them are very the same. Okay. Oh, they have similarities and differences. So this one, it takes... The shape of any shape. Of any container. Solid, it just stays still. Like, this is a solid. Okay. If you try to change it, it doesn't change shape. Okay. But only if you try to break this. Okay. Also, liquid, it takes the shape of any container, any container or shape. Okay. Gas, gas will just be flying everywhere. <laughs> if you have, like, a cup... You put some gas in there, and the gas is like a tiny bit. It won't make it a tiny bit anymore. It will be flying around the entire place yeah, so like it a expands. crazy person. Like a crazy person? <laughs> nice. Okay. Thank you so much, Sasha. No problem. That was amazing for the state of matter. Okay. Good. So anything that well, has... Well, if, okay. if you want to know, but you have to go search on Google what is this, but actually, for real, this is in science. Okay? Oh, this is science. Yeah, it's not English. Okay, as a subject, you mean? Yeah. Hi, right. can I ask you some questions about the solar system? Yeah, sure. Do you know a lot about the solar system? Yes. Uh, quite a bit, isn't it? Yes. All right, let's go. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So how many planets are in this solar system? There are eight planets. There used to be nine planets, but the scientists said that Pluto, you're way too small. You are going to be a dwarf planet. And that's why there's only eight more planets left. So please help us so Pluto can come back and not less more planets go out of our solar system. So Earth doesn't... Go Earth out doesn't, of me. Earth doesn't be a dwarf planet anymore. Okay, thank you, Sasha. Next one. Uh, okay, so you just told us why Pluto is no longer a main planet. It is a dwarf planet. Yes. Okay. Next one, Sasha. Uh, of the eight planets in the solar system, which one is the hottest? Venus. Do you know why Venus is the hottest, but Mercury is the closest to the sun? No. <laughs> because Venus has... You can call a green house gas. Green house. Greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas, I'm sorry. I What's the name of that greenhouse gas? The name of that greenhouse gas is 
car. Carbon dioxide. Amazing. So that's why Venus can trap hot, hot air from the sun. Oh, you can trap heat. Heat from the sun, sorry. Oh. And that's why Mercury is not the hottest planet in our solar system. Because Mercury does not have what? Carbon dioxide. Oh, it doesn't even have an atmosphere. Yeah. Right. So thank you so much, Sasha. And Mercury is just like the moon. Oh. But not really 100% because the moon is the moon, you know, the moon is not a planet. Oh, I know it's not a planet. And Mercury is a planet. Correct. That's the difference about the moon and Mercury. Oh, okay. Can I ask you one more question? Yes. Do the moons make their own light? No. Where do they get light from? They get light from the sun. Ah, <gasps> oh, so you know about the sun. Because, what? because, like, this is the earth, right? Yes. And the moon is spinning around the earth. How do you think the moon is going to get sunlight? Because when this, when this is the sun, it's touching the front. But right now, the moon is at the back. That's why this area will be dark. Will be dark. And this area will be light. Thank you, Sasha. No problem. Do you think the Earth actually moves? Yes. I don't that, believe you. The Earth moves? It has two things. So it moves in two ways. It, I mean, it moves in two ways. Sure. It spins, or you can call it rotate. It's okay. the same thing. Okay. And also... There is also a thing that is called Revel revelation. Revelation. What does that mean? Get, get something to be the sun and something to be the earth. Go. So this is, so pretend like this is the earth and this is the sun. Okay. And this is how the earth moves. Do, mm. Or the earth will move like this. It will be spinning or spinning. And rotate and revelating. Yes. Mm. I think you know quite a bit about the solar system. And also the sun is a big ball of hot gas. Amazing. Now, Sasha, which planet is the largest in the solar system? OMG. You might say that Earth is so religious, but no. It's Jupiter. Nice. Then, which planet has the brightest, the brightest um, um, ring? Oh, this might be hard for you guys because you might think that Jupiter, because Jupiter also has a ring. Yeah. You might think that Uranus, Uranus also has a ring. Yes. And you might think that Neptune, Neptune also has a ring. Uh huh. But it's, it's Saturn. Because you can see it better with a microscope. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you with a telescope, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Sasha. Now... I'm not really a scientist, but I know these because I'm an IP1. I'm still living. <laughs> ah, Sasha, you're so good, actually. <laughs> Thank you for this. So I'm thinking that you would do it in your exams. Yeah. So can you name all these eight planets in the right order from the sun? Sure. Go ahead, name them. Mercury. Yes. Venus. Yes. Earth. Yes. Mars. Yes. Next, Jupiter. Uh-huh. Uranus. Oh, sorry, Saturn. Saturn, yeah. And then Uranus. And at the end is Neptune. So which planet is the coldest in our solar system? Oh my god. Do you know which one is the farthest from the sun, right? Yes. If you know which one is the farthest, then you know that <laughs> the one that's... Like, this is the sun. This is Neptune. Uh, is this the sun? No. Is this, is this Neptune? No. But if they just swap places... Then Mer Neptune would be over here and the sun would be over here. Then Mercury, I mean Neptune, is the hottest, Neptune. I mean the coldest one. Why is it the coldest planet? Because it's, it's so farthest. far from the sun Amazing. that it's so cold there. Pop and clap, bye bye.
So please subscribe, like, and also share so you don't miss one of our videos. Bye. Get it to 2,000 views.